Wanted to give you guys some education on the different types of headstock brakes, on the good old Gibson Les Paul standards, what they mean, how you fix them. I saw a debate in a forum of uh, the different techniques that you can use. And some folks were like, you got to use this one or this one. And I got to tell you, every break is different and it's going to require a different set of techniques to fix. The most severe break is when you have the headstock completely cracked off, like in this picture. I'd call that a snap off where you don't even get any grain run out to repair this. You actually have to go in and put some splines in here and completely re-strengthen that headstock. These are the worst breaks possible. It's essentially taking a bunch of pieces of wood, re-splining them together, and then not only do you have to refinish the back of the neck, you also have to refinish the front of the neck. Or you have to use splines when you're missing a bunch of wood and you need that structural strength like on this sucker. So this sucker I'd say is the second most severe kind. It cracked off, but I do got a lot of wood I can still glue this to, but I am missing chunks. So I'm missing a piece of wood here, I'm missing a piece of wood on the side and then on the back I'm also missing a pretty significant chunk of wood. So with this one I may not need to do splines because I've got enough surface area to glue this on here but what I think I need to do is actually do like a little diamond here and re uh, add some strength behind the truss rod here. So a lot of the pressure of the truss rod is going to be happening right here and if I don't have another piece of wood sort of holding this together, it's going to cause some problems. So this, I'd say, is probably your average Les Paul standard headstock crack off. You got a little bit of missing wood, still got a missing top, so I'm going to actually have to sand off the Les Paul model, use the frisket on the top, or if you've got another plate, you could put a whole other plate on it, but you're still going to need the sticker. I've been sitting on this one for about a year for myself and just haven't gotten there. And then the easiest headstock fix is where you just get a crack. What happens is the neck just sort of peels back, but you actually don't blow through the face. And then obviously there's different levels of severity. In this one, it does have some cracking, but if you spray some nitro over it, you can pretty much save that whole face. Um, sometimes if you've got a crack, you can just peel it back, inject some glue in there, and then leave it. So every crack on a Les Paul neck just requires a little bit of different planning and effort. Some guys will use splines, some guys will use the diamond like, like I'm going to use on this. But all in all, there's a lot of different ways to do a repair on a Les Paul neck. If you're missing chunks, you want to have the spline to replace those chunks. If you've just got a crack, that's relatively easy. And like I said, the most severe is where it's like a complete snap off and you've got very little wood to glue it back on. So this one we're gonna do a repair in another video, but since I saw so much chatter on this, I figure I would just give you guys two cents. The full repair like this or the full snap off is gonna usually cost the same amount of money. You're gonna to wanna to find a luthier who's actually done that before and can show you his work. If you've got the crack, where it's just sort of peeling back, what your luthier can do is just get some wood glue in there, reclamp it down, and you should be good to go. He shouldn't have to do too much refinishing. He may spray some lacquer on the back to sort of re-melt it together, but that repair should not, should not, should not be as expensive as a full snap off where you actually have to clean up the front. One of the big problems with this truss rod is that it's cut deep and you lose a lot of the wood. So a lot of the cracks you see are right along where that truss rod is. You lose a lot of strength from that wood. So just two cents of advice as you guys are looking at your broken Les Paul neck. Got different levels of severity. The most severe is that snap off. It's going to cost more. And then the easiest is, is where it's just sort of cracked. You can glue and, and maybe you don't even need to add a finish. But I'm always open for questions and... Comments if you guys have a guitar that needs a repair or you don't know what to do with a guitar because it's got an issue, send me a note, send me some pics. Always happy to help you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.